know the story too well, so bear with me as I try to explain. So, um, I actually need to replay to the part where I was. <sighs> Shit. Uh, well, uh, good afternoon, is it? Pretty sure noon. Yeah, noon, noon, noon. Oh, it saves all progress. I've been better. Was I out for long? About three hours. Why the guardian angel act? You don't even know me. Bad memory. When I was a child, I was always the one who used to fix my brothers up when they'd been fighting with the other kids on the block. I, uh, I suppose I like to play the guardian angel. You said you were here because you're an insomniac? Uh, truth. I, um, I've been going through a bit of a tough patch okay, the last few months. The kind uh -huh. of stuff you prefer to forget. I do what I can to live with it, but uh, it's not easy. That's the second time I found you in a bad way. You always seem to be running for your life. What's happening, Ethan? You mixed up with the mafia? Owe someone money, something like that. Listen, I'm truly grateful for your help, but for your own sake, I think it's better if you don't ask any questions. Maybe I could help you. I... No one can help me. You've already done a lot, Madison. Um, come on, man. Just tell her, man. Right. I'm gonna go. Take care. You already know he's not, lady. So who are you gonna pick today? The shark or See my opinion, I probably would have just opened them all up and done like the worst one uh last. Which probably would have gotten me killed. Then again, these all are probably gonna get me killed. Uh, I've heard my sacrifice save sun, nine seventy nine seven eleven and marble street. to do with that business i never killed nobody oh, no. then why did you run away when they came to question you i already told you i forgot to report to my parole officer i didn't want to go back to prison when i saw the cops i just bolted i wasn't thinking straight we checked out his statement he has an alibi for at least three of the murders fuck that bastard was a perfect fit shit Sean Moss's mother's here. She'd like to speak with you. Come on, it was man. a few months back. The middle of the night. It was pouring down. Ethan came home completely drenched at about three. I asked him where he'd been. He, uh, he spoke about drowning the rain. Um, he didn't make any sense. There was...
police lieutenant Carter Blake. And this is agent Norman Jaden of the FBI. <laughs> According to our information, Ethan Mars is one of your patients. We'd like to ask you a few questions about him. I'm sorry, that's impossible. I beg your pardon? I'm bound by an oath of secrecy. Under no circumstances may I discuss my patients. My job is to find Sean Mars alive, and I don't give a damn about any bullshit oath. <laughs> I know you don't want to protect the murderer. If you know anything, you must tell us, Doctor. I'm sorry. I can't help you. And now I must ask you to leave. You need to cooperate. For your own sake. It's your duty to inform the police if you suspect one of your patients, Doctor. Are you threatening me? I'm just giving you some free advice, Doc. I suggest you take it. Doctor, a child's life is at stake. You may know something that could help us save him. I am going to call the police and make a complaint about your behavior. <laughs> Doctor, you are really pushing my buttons. The only thing I'm interested in is saving that kid's life. So, you're going to be a good boy and tell me what I want to know or I'm really going to lose my Mike, temper. Not... Let's get out of here. Let go of me. You... You have no right... <laughs> Hey. Hey. That's assault, Blake. Come on, Doc. There's an easy way and a hard way. It's your fucking choice. Oh. What's up with you, Norm? How you getting cold feet? You don't like to get your hands dirty, huh? I thought you wanted to save that kid. I want to save Sean Mars just as much as you do, but that doesn't give me the freedom to do what the hell I like, so you're going to stop this shit right now. I'll get you for this, Jaden. Don't worry. I will not forget. Ethan Mars has had psychological problems since his first son died. <clears throat> feels responsible for his death. Sort of morbid neurosis. He is haunted by visions of drowning bodies. A few weeks ago, after one of our usual sessions, I found this on the floor. He must have fallen out of his pocket. I was trying to get him off him so uh, Ethan wouldn't be questioned. <clears throat> Crap. Ash, I want you to assign every available man to finding Ethan Mars. I want a man outside his place day and night. Notify all agencies to start looking for him. I want you to keep an eye on the train stations, the airports, the bus terminals. I want every cop in the city on his ass so that if he moves, we know about it. Yes. Ethan Mars is the origami killer. Doesn't mean he is. He's a fucking idiot, bro. Yeah, he could just walk up to the police station and say who it is. He could have told her who it is, and she would have said something. But instead, he's, oh, uh, like, mm, still questioning more motherfuckers, bro. What'd you get for a coffee? Oh, no thanks. Do you play? I tried once. But I think the owner of the course is still looking for me. It's an interesting sport. It requires strength, but also a cool head and absolute precision. Would you care to hit a few balls with me? There's no danger of damaging the greens here. Okay. Take off your jacket and grab a club.
The balls are in that basket. The most important thing is to grip the club correctly. When you feel ready, you swing. Well, it's only your first ball. You should try to strike it a little harder next time. I'm assuming you didn't invite me here just to play golf, Mr. Kramer. <clears throat> I hear you've been asking questions about my son. That's right. I want to know if Gordy is linked to the origami killer case in any way. My son had nothing to do with that sordid case. Well, then he has nothing to fear from my investigation. You have no business investigating my son. I told you, he had nothing to do with it. With all due respect, Mr. Kramer, it's up to me to decide who I want to investigate. I'm an influential man, Mr. Shaw, and I pay very well so, man. Are you trying to buy me? Let's just say I'm trying to show you where your interest lies. How much do you want to leave my son alone? I think you misunderstood me. I don't play that game. Don't go near my son, Mr. Shaw. If you do, you'll regret it. Have a nice day, Mr. Kramer. Looking for song, yeah. The last song got me, uh, it got me, uh, what's it called? The last song you told me, um, literally just about got me a strike. So, like, I didn't take any action, and like, I got to keep my video. But before you send me songs, be sure they're not copyrighted, please. Porcelain lizards? They look new. Out of place with the rest of this old beat-up stuff. Hmm. 
Oh, uh, some, some's in this one. Yeah, I like got ID claimed, but no, no, it was copyright claim. I won it um, by saying there was no copyright symbol on the song, so. And no time or date, so. Yeah, I was definitely not ID claimed. I checked. So. Are you prepared to cut off the last section of one of your fingers in front of the camera? If you succeed, you will get your reward. Some sharp, some sharp, 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 sharp. sharp. Oh god, I'm gonna hate this. What? Dude, just cut it off and go. Um. Dude, you don't need disinfectant. Just cut off your finger. I swear, bro. I s Oh my god, a saw. Uh, let's get this. gonna suck bro do it no bro do it just do it man just do it bro Mm. Shit, bro. Just do it, man. Dude, this one was simple, bro. Ah. Ah, that, that must have hurt, bro. Shit. Should be two or three more, if I'm right. Oh my god, fuck, bro. Dude, that one was probably the most simple. Out of all of them. I swear to god on that one. Dude, I just got my frickin' Uh, long game? I don't know how long the game is. Have you checked out? Are we on two souls yet? 
No, actually, I'll do that after the stream. On my phone, most likely. But that was some mafia kind of shit there. I can believe that under, like, two minutes. I swear. Or just above two. That's affirmative, Lieutenant. We're in position. Perfect. Nobody moves until I give this signal, is that clear? We nail him as soon as he sets foot outside. Right, Lieutenant. Lucky that patrol spotted his car. What's he doing in there? Beats me. You're the profiler, right? I thought you were supposed to be right inside the killer's head. Well, that's just it. What I know of Ethan Mars doesn't match the killer's psychological profile. I know what the jury's gonna choose between your theories and concrete proof. That girl doing there. If Marsh comes out now, she's gonna be in trouble. What do we do, Lieutenant? I wanna get her out? No, stand down. Ah, uh, come on, bro. Crap, the cops are gonna see her, bro. She's going inside. If she lives there. That's just as well. We don't want anyone hanging around if Mars comes out. Ethan, what happened? The police, they're out there. I think they're here to arrest you. We've got to find another way out. Shit. What's he up to in there? Wait for a go on my word. Okay, okay. This is definitely the way. God, bro. God. Dude, it's so hard doing it down. God. No! Okay, so side I can do a little bit better. Shit! It's too high. Oh, for real? Fuck you, lady. Ready on my go. Stay here, Jaden. Out of the question. I'm coming with you. Two men at the door hold your positions. It's a go. On, bro. <laughs> Come on, bro. Help him. Help him. Help him. He's not the origami killer. Come on, bro. Oh, I hate the button mashing part. That better counted. Dedicated to this motherfucker, bro. Don't move or I'll shoot. Bro, that's impossible. I swear to God on that one. Dude, I swear if he gets killed for this.
I couldn't turn. Yeah, uh, they're probably gonna interrogate him now. Which I can, um, she can probably. F no, 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 she can't. Wait, he can probably figure out it wasn't him. Oh shit, bro. Hey, is there a trophy for not getting that? Let me check that. Is there a trophy for not? Yeah, yes. Yeah, there's a trophy for not getting caught. Oh god, that sucks. I'm not here to judge you, Ethan. I'm trying to save the life of your son. We still have time, but it's running out. Help me, Ethan. Tell me what you know. Okay, okay. Trust. Ethan, I'm trying to help you. Okay, okay, okay. I okay. just want to understand what happened. But you have to trust me. Convince. You've lost, Ethan. What will you gain with one more victim? Huh? Come on, bro. Ethan, say something for God's sake! Come on, if I was Ethan, I would just tell him everything. Like, actually. I kidnapped my son. But I can't remember what happened. I don't know where he is. The only way to find him is to let me out of here. I'm the only person who can save him. Believing, uh, skeptical. You say you can save him, but you don't know where he is. It doesn't make sense, Ethan. I love my son. I love my son. If you keep me here, Sean is going to die. Time's running out, Ethan. And frankly, I don't care why you did it. The only thing I want to know is where you've hidden Sean. I don't know. I would already have saved him if I knew where he was. Okay. This is your last chance, Ethan. And this time, I suggest you think carefully before you answer. Where is Sean? I told you, I don't know. Ah! Wrong answer. Uh, what's, what's the vent? Yeah. Even if he is a killer, that doesn't give you the right to beat him. Whose side do you want, Norman? Are you defending this piece of shit? I'm defending the law, and the law says he is innocent until proven guilty. This guy's got no rights. Do you hear me? No rights at all. Yo. I'm about to risk your ass. Oh, I'm definitely intervening this crap. This guy's a killer. He's got no fucking rights. He's gonna tell me everything. You fuck. Are you gonna tell me what? Convince. If you beat him, his confession's worthless. Now throw the case out. Oh, oh crap. What do I do in here? Fuck! That asshole has gone too far this time. Um, Perry? That is not the way it's gonna go. I'm gonna tell the whole story to Captain Perry. 
Bro. Captain Perry, bro. Where's Perry? That bastard is gonna beat a confession out of Mars. He just wants a culprit, even if it's the wrong guy. No new thoughts. Where are you at, Boyle? Where is he? Hey, come back, come back here. No, bro. Where the f is Perry? How much do you want to bet? Oh, uh, he's back here. I don't know where the fuck Perry is. Perry the platypus, man. Where the fuck are you, Perry? Move. Move. Fucking move. Oh, you know as hell I'm gonna tell Perry. Oh, wait, 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 shit. I've already been in here. I don't know who he is. Crap. I don't know where he is. Oh my god, how much you wanna bet? Blake is trying to beat a confession out of Ethan Mars. You've got to do something! Which is more important, Norman? Finding little Sean Mars or sparing that lowlife a few bruises. You can't make omelets without breaking a few eggs. God damn! Ethan Mars is innocent! We've got to get back to looking for Sean if we're to have any chance of finding him alive! This case has worn you out, Norman. You need some time off to think it through. Crap. Take, 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 take. I need to take it. Oh. Okay, I was about to say, oh shit. Yeah, I know who the fuck it is, but we can't say shit, bro. That's bull. You know how much Ethan could have been saved of? Oh, crap, I got that. <laughs> You're pretty good. Man. Your vodka, sir. Thanks. You look preoccupied, if you don't mind my saying so. Problems with the investigation? Blake is convinced that Mars is the killer. Not you. I thought there was some evidence to that effect. That's true. But it just doesn't make sense. His psychological profile doesn't fit, neither does the geolocalization. I can't see this father drowning eight victims before kidnapping his own kid. Mars is not the origami killer. I'd stake my life on it. Then who is? I haven't the faintest 
fucking idea. Maybe you should review the evidence in your possession. That's just what I was thinking of doing. Oh, one last thing, sir. You should be careful not to overindulge in you know what. It can be dangerous. Very dangerous. I'm trying to keep a handle on it, but that's difficult. It gets more and more difficult. It'll end up killing you if you're not careful. Oh, crap. That would be most unfortunate, sir. Okay, so I don't need to sniff the powder every time. Check Discord sent me a link. Perry the Platypus. Yeah, I might get copyright for that one. I'll listen to that one after stream. Oh, what? I'm on here, buddy. Oh, uh, files. Oh, shit, bro. Okay, so let's open this. Or actually, wait, no, let's do this first. There is always a railroad line adjacent to where the bodies are found. And all the victims disappeared in the fall. Do anal analysis and geoanalysis. The killer is white, aged between 30 and 45. He is intelligent, calm, and determined. An organized type. He has a car. He's probably employed, but his work allows him free time. Okay, so it's files, and we look at the clues. Well, well, looks like there's something new. The video recording from near the park on the afternoon showing Mars disappeared. I doubt there's anything on it, but you never know. What? Uh, what? Analyze. A Chevrolet model corresponding to the tire prints passed at 1602 heading for the park. When in the opposite direction at 1637, that could fit the time that Sean Mars disappeared. Could it be the killer's car? Geoanalysis of where that's at? No geoanalysis. Okay, so we got something new with that. Geoanalysis. And then let's look at the analysis. Chevrolet, probably 98. So that might be that car. Okay. Uh, pity we can't see the driver's face. Analysis it. The car was stolen. Holy Let's see. Shit. A certain Jackson Neville was suspected of stealing it, but the charges were dropped. Not enough evidence. She analysis. Okay, no data. Oh wait, what's this? Analysis. Jackson Neville. AKA Mad Jack, involved in several cases of buying and selling stolen vehicles. Considered to be very dangerous. This guy might have provided the killer with a car. It's a pretty slim lead, but it's all I have right now. 
Okay, so it's something. Okay. I mean, it's something more than beat the crap out of uh, Ethan, so. Did Mars confess? No, not yet. He lost consciousness. We'll give him a break and then we'll get back to him. He must be uh, tougher than I thought. No, y'all aren't. Tough or not, he'll crack. They all do. In any case, congratulations, Lieutenant. You've done a fine job. I've called a press conference. Gonna kick off in one hour. I expect it'll be quite an event. Don't you want to wait until we actually got his confession? No point. We've got him dead to rights. That's all the press wants to know. <laughs> Ethan Mars is innocent. He truly believes that he alone can save Sean. What if he's right? I'll play those odds. I've got to get him out of here. My gut feeling is that Mars is innocent and I gotta get him out of here. I gotta find some way to get Ethan Mars out of here. Even if there's only a one in a thousand chance he's telling the truth, he may still be able to save his son. No, I, I can't just stand by and watch. I'm gonna help Mars get out of here. I just don't believe he's guilty. Nothing about him matches the killer's profile. I should consult my superiors. Maybe... No, that's stupid. I gotta handle this on my own. Uh, okay, maybe tell him of of it. That Perry. shithead Perry doesn't give a damn if Blake beats up a witness or if Mars is innocent. All he wants is to be able to tell the press they've arrested the origami killer. Honestly, they haven't. It's none of my business. If Perry and Blake think Mars is the killer, what can I do about it? No, 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 no. Where you at? Where, where you at, boy? No, 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 I'm not gonna. Is there any more thoughts? Is this interrogation? Yes, it is. Mostly want to see if he's still in here. What? Oh, what's up, Mom? Hello? Yes, I am. Uh, so I can talk to my viewers. Mm -hmm. So I can talk to my viewers. Hello. YouTube, or what? YouTube, yep. Where you at, boy? I'm gonna get you out of here. My God, which cell are you in? Nope. Maybe he's in one of these. Oh yeah, I know how I can get him out. I okay. Wait a minute. Okay, once I figure out where he is, I like, uh, I know what I'm gonna do. Hey, does anyone chat know where he's at so I can quickly do this? So I'm just gonna pull the fire alarm and then get him out. God. Gotta find some way to get rid of the guard if I wanna free Mars. Well, Mom? No, not really. I mean, it's just some guy making puns in the chat, so. He might know. What guard do you speak of, sir? We both know, like, I know he's not guilty. The frickin' mafia guy admitted it. 
probably this guard. Which guard do you speak of? There's a lot of freaking guards. Yeah, a lot of guards. I can't do anything for Mars. These are serious charges he's facing. Probably talking about those guards. I mean, that's not Ethan. So. Hey, what are you doing, buddy? Probably. Oh, yay. Stop looking in there, you pervert. Yeah, honestly, I have. For God's sake, I actually don't know where he's at. I did not click in here. Oh, God. I hate the controls. I'm running out what? Mm hmm. Has he confessed? Because a cop literally is beating him. Leave us alone. I. Uh. Lieutenant Blake said to. Please. Leave us alone. Right, uh, I'll be at the door if you need anything. Yeah, wait, get him out through the window. <laughs> uh, classic. Christ. Are you alright, Ethan? Crap, they're gonna see us on camera. I don't care though. I gotta get out of here. I've gotta save my son. Let's see what I can do. Correct. Should be able to get him out of here without being noticed. Shit, what am I doing? Helping a suspect to escape? That'll cost me my badge and earn me a ten year stretch. I don't I'm care. I'm find a way to get you out of here, Ethan. Stay put. I'll be back. So if I get rid of the guard. Okay, okay, okay. Hey, sir. Sir. Okay, no more new thoughts. I'm gonna immediately turn off the camera. Because I don't need that on recording. Of me doing this. Oh, can I not turn the recording off? Okay. I mean, I guess there's enough evidence. Oh, that he was being beaten when I did do that, so. How am I gonna get him out? Any ideas, Mom? No. Okay. No, I'm not gonna shoot the hostage. What? Oh, yeah. I don't know what to do. God. Hey, Mr. Pun Guy. You got more puns in the chat to give me support? Puns? Any? Please? <laughs> no, I'm not that idiotic. I'll lose my badge. I don't care. If I can get him into here. Okay, I seriously don't know what to do here. Oh, God. Hey, let me go into here. I know, I know, did you need search? up sir I am trying to use a urinal <laughs> you're looking at the TV so weird <laughs> trust me trust me it literally showed up like boobs a uh, while back on this game oh uh, like I had to blur no I'm a savage cop cop savage Cop Savage, Mom. 
Wait, what if I ask her for any advice? Hey, do you know how I can get a guy here? No? Okay. Fire alarm exit. No, I'm gonna see where the exit is for over here. Because if it is, like, this way, I could get them out this way. Ah, oh, but cameras. Okay, okay, I know how I'm gonna get him out now. I know where he's at. Yes, I can, but... I just need to screw around a little bit. See, I don't know how I'm gonna get him, like, over here, though. So I need to get rid of that guard. Hey, sir. Sir, sir, your wife needs you. Uh, hey, I got another idea. Where's the phone? Okay, well, I can't equip the glasses. Dang it. Hey, I need to speak to you. Okay, well, apparently, no, I don't. Yeah, if I don't get it first time, I'm just going to retry this entire chapter. <coughs> There's no thoughts. I, I don't know what to do here. Wait, 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 what? I think that was just a chair, but still. Yeah, that was a chair. Oh, wait a minute. What? I could have put him. I, I could put him in that. All right, let me just sit down for a second. Okay, we'll lean. Okay. I mean, that made no sense to do whatsoever. Okay. No, I'm not gonna leave him. Oh, uh, well, I can't be up there and act like president of the police. I really don't like doing this. Pretty much searched everywhere. I'm sorry, it doesn't usually take me this long to do chapters. And they're usually a lot more fast paced. What? Gary, you can take a break. I'll keep an eye on it. You sure? Actually, I was busting for a piss. <laughs> if you need to adjust his handcuffs. Uh, hey, 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 hey. Let me do this for you, Mom. There you go. Okay. Ooh, ooh, wait, wait, wait. Turn, turn around, turn around. Yes. My, my plan has called to action. Even though what I'm doing is technically illegal, 
I don't care if I'm a felon. I'm sorry, I forgot it was all odd audio. Ethan, put this on. You might be able to get by them without being noticed. Oh shit, the handcuffs. I forgot about that. Okay, hold tight. Um, no, they're on the desk. Oh, they're in, uh, hit on his desk. Okay. First, get rid of the cuffs. Okay, so he sat on his desk. So... Is what I'm doing sketchy, Mom? I mean, I, I know we... Yeah. Well, then again, that would have made him suspicious. So. That's it. You're free. Put the stuff on. Here, put this on. They're having a break. If you're quick, you'll be able to slip out without being noticed. Head straight to the exit. Don't stop, don't talk, don't even think. Just walk. I don't know what to say. I... Just say you're gonna save your son. I hope I won't regret that. <laughs> God, I'm a felon. Oh, shoot. Hoping no one notices him. Right? Oh, yeah. And, like, yeah, I'm definitely going to stick to YouTube uh, music library. I'm not going to take suggestions from anyone. Less than an hour ago, so. we heard from the police who have identified the man thought to be the origami killer. Ethan Mars, father of the kidnapped victim Sean Mars, is on the run and should be considered armed and dangerous. A police manhunt is now underway, and they hope that they will soon be able to announce the apprehension of this dangerous lunatic. Dangerous lunatic, my butt. I brought some food. I didn't know what you liked, so I brought some of everything. I, I hope that's okay. Any cops? No, I uh, think we lost them. The guy at the desk, though, he gives me the creeps. I don't trust him. You're all over the news reports, Ethan. Every cop in the country will be hunting you. They say you're the origami killer. Is it true? Are you the killer, Ethan? Mom, bro. Rake, invade. Uh, I'm gonna press. I don't know what this definition is. Yeah. Oh. Okay. I. Sometimes have these blackouts. Times where I don't know what I'm doing. As if I'm someone completely different. The only thing I remember afterwards is the bodies. The bodies in the water. Why are you hurt, Ethan? Why were you in that apartment? I think my other self is testing me, testing my love for Sean. He wants to know if I love my son enough to save him. That means there's some part of me that knows where Sean is. Well, the only way to find him is to go through these trials. Why can't you tell that to the police? And tell them what? That I'm a schizophrenic who drowns his victims and has kidnapped his own son? They'd never let me go, and I have to stay free to save Sean. I have no choice. I'm his only chance. And Sean is out of danger. 
I'll turn myself in, but not until then. You can't keep going like this. You're destroying yourself, Ethan. Pretty sure that's the point. Finding Sean is the only thing that matters. There has to be another way. You don't understand. Time is running out. Sean will be dead in a few hours. I have no choice! Please, Madison. Leave. Forget everything that's happened. There is nothing more you can do for me. If you want to help me, leave. Nah, bro. She can go through one of the trials, dude. Yeah, so far I think I've passed like every trial, so... There's one I screwed up on, which I immediately went back and redid it. I'm getting two trophies for it. One for failing it, and one for passing it. It, it was worth it. Uh, going through electrified, electrified uh, wires. Um, I don't know. What? I'm just... Oh, like, you can go take a nap, like, uh, probably until I beat the game, which will be a while, maybe. Oh, really? Oh, shoot. Are you prepared to kill someone to save your son? So, red... Let's kill him, send a picture, get a reward. What the? That's so screwed up. I have to kill someone to find my son. Uh, no. I'm not the origami killer. Some mafia guy admitted to it. To a private detective. Okay. That doesn't really matter to me. Okay, let me fix the audio, y'all. There we go. No. Oh my god, I would be so annoyed. Manfred! Manfred! Anybody home? Nothing much changed here. Just the dust on the clocks ticking on and on. What was that meeting with Charles Kramer at the golf club really about? Why is he so worried about me investigating his son? Oh, there he is. I was crazy to let her come in. He's trying to help out, but she just gets in the way. I'll have to talk to her later. Hi there, Manfred. Who is it? Scott. Scott Shelby. Do you remember me? Scott? This is Scott! Oh, yes, of course! Well, good to see you. How long has it been? Oh, about ten years, I guess. My age, time means nothing anymore. I, I repair clocks, but I try to forget about time. Well, how about you? Are you still with the police? Oh, no, I quit. I'm a private investigator now. Uh, this is Lauren. She's, uh, she's a friend. Hello. Oh, hello, young lady. Well, this, this calls for a celebration. I've just the thing. Wait there. I, I'm sure I I saw a, a bottle of scotch around here somewhere. Airman, I got you. D 
do an old man a favor, would you, Scott? Tell him to call back this afternoon. Sure, no problem. Hello? Yeah, this is Manfred's. He's not available right now. Could you call back later this afternoon? Thanks. Well, Haha. <laughs> to old friends. Me in 40 years. <laughs> I'd like you to have a look at an envelope. I thought maybe you could tell me about the typewriter that was used to type the address on it. Oh. Let's have a look. Or could you pass me the uh, magnifying glass from behind the counter? Oh, sure, please? I'll get it. My eyes are beginning to fail me. This counter? One of it. Be sh pretty sure this counter. Yes, this counter. Well, old pastor say for itself. The Royal Five. And yes, the shape of the T's and the F's is typical of that model. Used between 1907 and 1924. Yes. No doubt about it. It's a Royal Five. These typewriters, are they rare? No, no, they're fairly common. I'd say many folks have one gathering dust in an attic or, or in their cellar you keep a record of all your clients oh, yes indeed at least the ones who pay <laughs> any chance i could get a peek at that oh, yes of course i keep my account books in the office uh, if you're not in a hurry I have a list of all the clients who never bought a Royal Five or, or had one repaired. Yeah, that would really help us out. Hmm. Delighted to help. Give me two minutes, and I'll be right back with the list. You think the killer's been here? If he has a 1920s typewriter, he may have needed Manfred's services to get it fixed. We'll know when we get the list. You okay back here, buddy? Hello? Manfred! Hello? Your call is locked, sir. A police car will be there in a few minutes. I need to know who you are, sir. Sir? Hello? Oh my god! He's dead. Oh. Poor old man. He didn't deserve to go like that. Scott? <gasps> oh my god. What are you doing? I'm calling the police. The killer has already called the police. I think he wants us to be a scapegoat. We gotta get the hell out of here. What do you mean? We have nothing to do with his death. We were just here when it happened. Look, we're running out of time to find Sean Mars. The last thing we need is 24 hours in a police station explaining this whole thing. Well, so what do we do? Watch the front door. I'll get rid of our fingerprints from everything we touched since we came in. We better work fast. The police are going to be here any minute. What are you 
doing, Lord? If someone comes in, we're gonna be in trouble. These are Manfred's account books. He must have been looking for owners of royals when he was killed. Forget it. We gotta get out of here fast. I don't damn sure she touched this. Hey, I didn't drink out of any other glass, just this one. That should be everything. Where did we leave Prince? I gotta remember. Fast. The office window. Might have left Prince there. Quick. Gotta find out. Are you gonna be much longer? The police will be here any second. I'm almost finished. I'm running out of time. Gotta move faster. Police will be here any second. Gotta get out now. Don't forget to clean Lawrence Prince, too. Nope. That's it. We're done. You get all the prints? I got what I got. It should be enough to prevent them from finding us. Come on, let's go. Should have been everything. I forgot the fa <laughs> So, you claim the victim was killed while you were in his shop. Yes, he went to get something in his office. A few minutes later, I went in to see if he was okay. And that's when I found him. You should have called the police immediately, Mr. Shelby. Would have saved us dragging your ass down here. Listen, we had nothing to do with this murder. We were only there by coincidence. I just wanted to spare myself a few hours declaring I didn't see anything to a police officer. P.I. or not, Mr. Shelby, don't leave town. If you end up next door to any more dead bodies, remember to call us. Okay? One second, I'm redoing that. I'm redoing that on stream, cause fuck that. Ah, oh, crap. Okay, I missed so, my chance on that one. You claim the victim was killed by you in his shop. Yes, he went to get something in his office. A few minutes later, I went in to see if he was okay. That's when I found him. Should have called the police immediately, Mr. Shelby. Would have saved us dragging your ass down here. Listen, we had nothing to do with this murder. We were only there by coincidence. I just wanted to spare myself a few hours declaring I didn't see anything to a police officer. P.I. or not, Mr. Shelby, don't leave town. If you end up next door to any more dead bodies, remember to call us. Okay? Again. 
Wrong time, wrong place. You know what it's like. Don't sweat. I'll take care of you. For old time's sake. Thanks, Carter. I owe you one. You want anything at the moment? Well, I got some ideas. Nothing concrete. Well, if it goes beyond the idea stage, you tell me about it. You Scott. I mean, it might piss you off, I mean, I mean, the person you think the origami killer is, is not really the origami killer. I'm taking you home. This is getting way too dangerous. No way. We are partners, remember? We had a deal. Had a deal. Not a game reason. Listen, Lauren, I know you want to find the killer, but you're not helping me by putting yourself in danger. I'm not a child. I know what I have to do. I want to find my son's killer. You're not going to stop me. Well, then you can find him without me. I refuse to be responsible for anything that goes wrong. It's all my fault. I should never have let her come with me. I can't just leave her like that. She'd do anything to find the guy who killed her son. Crap, I have no choice. I guess I'm doing this to protect her. Once again in my arms. I'm sorry. I shouldn't have talked to you like that. It's just that I wouldn't want to see you get hurt. What do you want? Oh, fuck it. I said a thousand times that I don't want any junkies in my door. Hey! Take it easy, man. Bro. Keep cool. <laughs> what do you want? Dope? Money? Tell me what you need. Sure we can make a deal, huh? I'm gonna blow your brains out, you son of a bitch! You think you can come into my house and steal my dope? You're gonna be shooting up in your ass, motherfucker! Shadow's after you, bro.
have a gun too, you know. Oh, my love. God. Hold it, man. I give you whatever you want. You got dope? You got cash? You, you want some dope? Please. Um. Please don't kill me, man. I got children. These are my girls, see? This one's Sarah. And a little one. <laughs> Ah, uh, I don't give a shit. You're gonna get shot. I want to see them again. Please, please don't shoot. Yeah, R1. I'm a father too, but I have no choice. <laughs> Bro, just straight up cap that fool. Oh. I I'm killing people for my son, bro. In the gun grip. Bro, you better not leave that gun there. Bro, that's so screwed up. Okay, so there's like two more origamis. Dude, you need to get rid of the gun, bro. Keep the gun. I'm a killer. Oh shit. Matt, it's Sam. I got your information. And the owner of the apartment in Marble Street is a Dr. Adrian Baker. He's a cheap ass apartment, including the one in Marble Street. Of course he got caught. He did a few months in prison and was struck off the medical register. Interesting. Thanks for the information, Sam. I owe you one. Hey, Matt. Be careful, okay? I'm on it. Talk to you later. The owner of the apartment where Ethan cut off his finger lives here. It's not much of a lead, but it's all I've got. Hi. Uh, I was told that you could get the tropin. Would that a prescription? Sorry, you were misinformed. Goodbye. Hold on. I, I, I really need your help here. I can pay. Well, why didn't you say so? Please come in. <sighs> I guess. 
So, you're looking for Betropid, my dear? Are you having trouble sleeping? How much do you need? I don't know, um, about three, four boxes. Well, no, that shouldn't be a problem. Would you like a drink? I was just about to have one. No, thanks. Well, alcohol helps take the edge off the pills, don't you think? Anyway, we should drink a toast to our first deal. Bourbon whiskey. I haven't seen you around here before. Who told you about me? I'm just going to take a drink. Um. I met a guy at a party. He popped some betropin. Told me he got it from you. I heard you had some apartments for rent. I'm looking. Sorry, darling. Those are all booked up. Shame. I was looking for something around Marble Street. some trouble didn't your mother ever warn you about accepting gifts from strangers <laughs> He claimed he had come to the census. Another one of those goddamn government spies. So, you're interested in my Marble Street apartment. I rent it to my friend Paco, if you must know. I have no idea what he does there. Maybe that's where he fornicates with his dancers from the Lagoon. <laughs> To be honest, I don't give a damn. Just as long as he pays his rent, he can do whatever he likes. But enough with the chit chat. I miss surgery, you see, so I take every opportunity to practice. I don't have any instruments here, so I use whatever comes to hand. I hope you won't hold that against me. Oh, you know I am. Hold up. This might sting him. Come on, man, let me do something. What do I do? Have you ever noticed? As soon as you start to do oh a little God. housework, someone always comes calling. I'll get rid of our visitor and be right back. Don't move. I won't be long. I'm escaping you ho. I'm escaping this ho, y'all. Shit. I don't know if this is gonna fill it. Dude, this is so hard. Oh, 
burn a weapon, buddy. You know. Better. Mm. You know what? Sick of you. I'm sick of you. Touch me. I think I did that perfect, pretty much. I messed up once, maybe twice. <laughs> Queen of the ropes. Sick, got the sweats, hands are shaking. Hope this works out all right. Two the trips came, got it in my pocket. 24 hours. I've got less than 24 hours if I want to find Sean Mars still alive. Got them rain, soaking wet. The scrapyard, good a place as any to tinker the stolen cars. Mad Jack is suspected of stealing the car I'm looking for. Might be worth asking him a few questions. Mad Jack, a.k.a. Jackson Neville. This guy's got a criminal record of lines my arm. Better be careful. Better have a word with a guy on the blue over. Jeez, won't this rain ever let up? I won't be coming here on vacation, that's for goddamn sure. This is one fucked up sort of place. I'll question Neville and get the hell out of here. Blake wasn't in the office when I left. I don't think I'm gonna miss him. Can you stop that thing? Norman Jaden, FBI. Can we talk for a minute? 
I'm listening. Can we go inside? I'm looking for the owner of a blue Chevrolet Malibu 83. I don't give a damn how the car got here, whether you stole it or not. I just want to know who bought it from me. Sorry, ma'am. Don't ring a bell. I got a real bad memory of me. Perhaps I can help you to remember. Pretty solid time inside, Jackie boy. Jackie? You trying to scam me with your big talk? I never saw your damn car. Now take a walk. Same brand of tire as the car I'm looking for. Has the killer's car been here? Blood. Now why is there blood here? Size 10, most likely a visitor. Fingerprints, probably Mad Jacks. Size 13, must be Mad Jack size. Gary coming. Traces of orchid pollen in the air inside the garage. A few traces of blue paint. Same tire tracks. No doubt about it. Killer's car was here. Not much help, this so-called Mad Jack. He's either clean as a whistle, or else he's got something to hide. I don't trust this guy.
The blood tracks lead to the acid bath. Not the right car either. On your head, pig. I ain't got time to be playing around with you. Let's just get you out of sight and finish you off. Tell me about the man with the blue car. Go fuck yourself in the ass. Last chance, Jack. Make it easy on yourself. What you gonna do? You ain't got them killer eyes, so what? You gonna cuff me? Damn! You out of your motherfucking mind, man? Oh shit, Jack. Ain't nothing to it. Just a little bit of self-defense. Page one of the police manual. Kill or be killed. Whoa, 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 whoa. Stop. Enough. I'm starting to remember some things. You, you be cool. Uh, I'll tell you the tale. No, I don't know nothing about the guy. He wanted me to get rid of his dirty car. Get him a new one with false plates. He paid cash. And I ain't the questioning kind. He said I was supposed to drop the word to a guy named Paco down at the Blue Lagoon and the car was done. Now that's all I know. We'll continue this discussion down at the station. You're under arrest. You have the right to remain silent. Anything... Oh, shit, not now. Anything you say can and will be... Hey, <laughs> you look like you got a problem, man. What? They letting you dope heads in the FBI now? God bless America. Now I'm gonna give you a little help with your drug problem, Mr. Five-O. Permanently. I don't know why. Okay, let me try. But screw that one. Oh my god. Okay. Get 
Get out, bro. I seen Just saw that. <laughs> Come on, bro. Because I screwed up on that, he dies. No. No, that is bullshit, bro. That is bullshit. I, f I freaking did the actions. What the fuck? You think the origami killer killed Manfred? That makes sense. Didn't want him spilling his guts to us. And you suspect Gordy Kramer, right? Oh, him or one of his men. Gordy has the time and the means, not to mention the fucked up attitude to go along with it. He's only a suspect, but he's a pretty guilty looking one. I uh, built up a mountain of paperwork. Magazines about origami? You think the killer could have subscribed to one of those? If he was even remotely interested in origami in the last 30 years, his name may be in there somewhere. Trouble is, there's over 500 names. It gets a squat. I'm starving. Do you have anything to eat? Well, I'm no chef, but I should be able to make some scrambled eggs if you like. Great. I'm soaking wet. I need to warm up a little. That's Is bullshit, it okay if I take a bro. I'll be my guest. Go to my bedroom. It's the next door. Oh, I'll cook up the eggs while you're under the shower. Yeah, the controls are broken on this game, I swear. I hate how they use motion sensor. But then again, I am playing on a PlayStation 3 controller, so.
Egg should be ready by now. I took the liberty of borrowing your bathrobe. Looks better on you. Hey, that almost looks good enough to eat. What's that? The notebook I took from Manfred's place. According to this, about 30 clients bought spare parts for Royal Machines in the last 10 years. The killer may be one of them. Oh, you know, checking out the alibi of 30 clients one by one, that's a lot of legwork. Except that if we cross-check them with the list. The list of subscribers to Origami magazines. You still got that, right? Yeah, yeah. Lauren, wait. If the killer really used a royal typewriter, and if he subscribed to an Origami magazine, his name should be on both lists. Well, Lauren, I, I mean, that's just an assumption, but yeah, I suppose. His name is here somewhere. Help me. We're going to find him. guy whose name was on both lists died when he was 10. What are you gonna do now? Pick up his coffin, make sure he's dead? I know it doesn't make any sense. Unless the killer was only using his name. But why use the name of a kid who died 30 years ago? Well, that's what we came to find out. The name is John Shepard. It should be on a grave around here somewhere. You never give up, do you? Time to look for John Shepard's grave. <laughs> this girl knows her mind all right. No point in trying to reason with her. It's cold. It's raining. I'm standing outside getting soaked. Oh, how I love my job. I hate cemeteries. They depress the hell out of me. The sooner we find that grave, the sooner we can get the hell out of here. I should be investigating Gordy Kramer right Excuse about me. now. And here I am, standing in a cemetery in Ori... Excuse me. I'm looking for the grave of a boy named John Shepard. Straight ahead. A little further out. Thanks. A young boy who died about 30 years ago. His name was John Shepard. Gotta hand it to her. You wouldn't know that where it is by any chance. The really children's graves shape. are in the next plot. Thanks. She's convinced she's onto something. And here's me, thinking we're wasting our friggin' time in this friggin' cemetery. Hey, Scott, where are you going? John Shepard's grave must be somewhere around here. Did anyone ever tell you you shouldn't shout in the cemetery? Take it easy, the dead don't mind. I think these people here helped make the game. Hey Lauren, I found it.
origami figures. That's one hell of a coincidence. These flowers are fresh. Looks like someone's still tending the grave. Oh, youngin'. That one I knew well. You knew John Shepard? I've worked this graveyard nearly all my life. I remember what happened. It was in 77. October, I think. Yeah, go for nothing, hoodlums! Get the hell out of here! God, oh, beat it! You lousy, no good crap! Come back when you fucking mother comes home from work! He's drunk again. What are we gonna do? It's pouring rain. We're gonna get soaked if we spend a day outside. Well, this won't get beat. Little rain never hurt nobody. Come on, let's go play. Bet you can't catch me! They purposely made you slower, didn't they? Stop. That's like a full flip, bro. My god, stop cussing a little kid. I would have beat my kid. Oh. This is teaching me movements.
Dude, he's scared, bro. I see how it's shaking. You don't need to do this if it's too hard for you. No chance. I can do it all right. Just you watch. Don't turn around, the little bitch. hide and seek. You go and count to 20 and try to find me, okay? One, two, three, four, five, six, eight, nine, thirteen, seventeen, I have a feeling they want you to come back up. Are you calling for help? Those guys! That's John's voice! Oh, it's repeatedly. Oh, it's random. I know is he got separated from his parents. I, I think he got adopted. Well, looks like a storm's coming. I guess I better be getting home. Christ, what a horrible story. John Shepard drowned in the rain while holding his brother's hand. Do you think he... he could be the origami killer? Come on, let's get back in the car. 
I mean, we learned something important. Okay, this is a strip club. Oh god. Please don't demonetize me, YouTube. Oh my god. All the men. Er oh god. Paco Mendez. He's the guy who rented the doc's apartment on Marble Street. Better be careful. He might be the killer. Oh, uh, here, let me drop the music real quick. Well, I'll keep it a low, like, 30. That's still pretty loud. I'm looking for Paco Mendez. Do you know where he is? He's at his table over there. Does he know you? Not yet, but I have to talk to him. That's not possible. Mr. Mendez has asked not to be disturbed. Like his girl sexy. Sexy in a kind of dumb way. Paco's pet goon isn't letting anyone through. Gonna have to think of something else. Uh, okay. I've nothing against techno trance, whatever music, but this stuff is really loud. Maybe I could catch his attention by strutting my stuff nearby. If this Paco is one of the buddies of Dr. Death, then I'd better watch my step. Play school for the jet set. Not really my kind of hangout. I'm gonna have to rethink my strategy if I want to talk to Paco. I've got to find someplace to change. Oh, uh, can I not? Uh, am I even supposed to be back here? Oh, God. That was louder, bro. Uh... Okay. 
Okay, so I need to go get a new pair of gloves before I do this. It's gonna be louder. YouTube, don't copyright me. There's been no music in any of my episodes. So that's the last one, please. The restroom. It's private, girls only. It's that big red cube near the entrance. I guess it's time to sexy up my performance. Now all I need is a good place to change. Okay, it's a restroom, obviously. Of course. The restroom. It's private, girls only. It's that big red cube near the entrance. Okay. Um, plan. I'm gonna have to rethink my strategy if I want to talk to Paco. I gotta find someplace to change. Yeah, see, I knew bathroom, bathroom, maybe bathroom. But I can't change without. Okay, guys, one second, y'all. I need to go to the bathroom. Oh, shit. Okay, guys, I'm back. Uh, shit. Fuck, my phone. Oh, wait, what? Time to play the sexy girl. I did little to nothing. Oh my god. Nope, you're definitely not done.
Wait, what's this do? Oh god, no. YouTube, I'm so sorry. Oh my god, a fucking handgun. You do a little bit more than a hair, I bet. One time, motherfucker. Yeah. Like, I know a movie you guys should watch. Uh, it's called Straight Out of Compton. It's a good movie. Hoping I don't get copyrighted for this shit. Kind of bored. Feels like the whole place is watching me. But I suppose I'm not exactly keeping a low profile. So wait, what? Dance? Dance, bro. Bro, yes. Even though I'm probably gonna get restricted for this, I don't care. He's staring. Yeah, bro. Ah, oh, shoot. I messed that up a little bit. There he goes. Yes. Yeah, dude. Hey, you. Hey, you. It's your lucky day, sweetheart. The boss wants to invite you to his table. Hey, thanks for accepting my little invitation. You know around here, honey? I think I would have noticed you before. My name's Paco. Are you? Madison. I'm Madison. Ah, oh, I like the way you move, Madison. <laughs> You're making me all hot under the collar. <laughs> well, maybe we can continue this conversation somewhere more private. Oh, oh, oh. baby. Yeah, <laughs> come with me. <laughs> Fucking, he's a dog in heat, I swear to God. Bro, what the f Dude. I don't think they would hear gunshots, so I should be okay with him. Freaking Paco, bro. Yeah, guys. I go in. To the gun, and I get out of there before I get into big trouble. Everything's gonna be all right. Everything is going to be all right. I mean, he's into those hoes, man. So, welcome to my little kingdom. I'll take it. Just get in the way of good things. So. Okay, okay, I'm gonna turn off the music because I don't trust this. Show me what you got. Oh my god, it doesn't turn that off. Take it off. 
slowly. Take it all off. Speak. Uh, could, could we just talk first? Oh, we don't need any more talking, baby. I'll talk down. Now, show me what you can do. Oh my god, this music, bro. Uh, uh, could, could I have a drink? You know, just a little drink to break the ice. We already broke the ice. Let's get to the Oh my god, no, I can't I can't live with this sound, bro. I'm gonna turn off the suffix too, cause Come on. Do your thing, girl. I'm sorry, um I, I think there's been a little misunderstanding. Look, look, uh, I I'll, I'll just go. No harm done. Another time. I think it is you who have misunderstood, honey. I'm tired of wasting my time. It's now or never, baby. And I never take never for an answer. Oh my god, is this gonna be rape? Because I might have to end the stream here just to... Okay, okay, one second, guys. One second, guys. I'm gonna end the stream here. If it shows revealing. Yeah, let me end the stream here. I'll I'll come back after this part.